Welcome back. So I am Dr. Ranika Stewart, the owner of Adaptive Wellness and Recovery in Tampa, Florida, and the founder of the Concierge Nurse Network. And I enjoy sharing all things relating to concierge nurse life. I love being your tour guide as you explore, or even if you are already in the concierge nurse life. So whether you're starting a business or you're already in business and you're looking for tools, resources, a network, because entrepreneurship we know is definitely lonely i'm your girl um myself and the concierge nurse network is a community that i work really hard to build so that we may all support each other and as we navigate concierge nurse life so enough about me enough about me um sometimes concierge nurse life doesn't end so excuse me for checking my phone but i wanted to talk a little bit about niches and how to determine what your niche should be for your concierge nursing business so i do strategy calls with nurses and this is another of the frequently asked questions that i get a lot of nurses will schedule calls with me and they just want to kind of help to explore and navigate or just come up with that strategy for determining what would be the best niche or where like, they know they want to take care of people they know they want to um, join this concierge nurse life but they're just not sure of the niche or sometimes not even sure of if it's something that would be would be viable or needed in their area my specialty here in Tampa is post surgical care even though we also are able to provide wound care senior care we're going to add postpartum care but my initial specialty and how I started was post-op recovery and IV therapy thus post-op recovery boot camp was born but back to it so side note I offer strategy calls they are able to be scheduled I will put the link in the description for this video and yeah I'm always happy to have a quick chat talk to you meet you and just help you to navigate where to start that's another big question I get so with that said um, I have a few tips for figuring that out and just a little of my background and how I kind of figured out or had my light bulb moment of being able to be a concierge nurse was that my background was started in 2003 on a medical but mostly surgical floor in Nashville Tennessee with that said I took care of patients after neck surgeries back surgeries orthopedic hips knees um, those type of surgeries and also plastic surgery so at that time bbls or um, fat grafts to the buttocks was not a big thing so my clients or my patients back then were mostly tummy tucks liposuction full body lifts bariatric we did have bariatric back then and facelifts 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 were a big thing so that was in nashville and that those are the very much typical surgeries that you will still see more commonly in nashville of course living here in florida the bbl is quite common and popular so with that said i had an extensive background in surgical nursing and then also went on to have icu experience you know i started on that classic med surge floor went into the icu did some neuro icu also did home care also worked with seniors doing home care visits so lots and lots of great experience now of course as things were happening you know as nurses that those tough days those frustrating days those days where you really do lock yourself in a bathroom or your car to cry they all paid off for me in the end so if you're having some of those days or times right now just know that you can take all that frustration and use it to build something amazing and that is the what exactly what my goal is and what i want to see nurses do so with that said lots of great experience for me and in 2014 i became an np fmp family nurse practitioner and that is not required for concierge nursing by the way that is a personal goal of mine i love the concept of being able to evolve and expand my scope as a nurse and that was after 10 years in the hospital so very it was always something that i wanted to do i met a nurse practitioner in a doctor's office and was just completely mesmerized by her what she was able to do and also just the care that she provided so i knew then that that was this is something that i had to do and that role the mp role was still very even back in when i graduated in 2003 it was still very um very much evolving um and not really something that a lot of us even thought that we could do so that was that was so exciting and 
um, very much a personal achievement that I embraced and enjoyed and was so excited about when I became a nurse practitioner in 2014. However, one thing about me is that I always have the next goal and sometimes that makes me feel like are you ever satisfied? But what I have come to accept is that the answer is no. I'm always grateful, but no, I'm never satisfied. There is a difference. So I'm always grateful, but I'm always looking to move forward, grow and learn. And I just, I never want to stop learning. When I stop learning, I'm no longer on this earth. And that's when, that's when it's going to happen. So uh, with that said, even in the MP role, I still felt like I hit a brick wall. So RN loved it, but hit a brick wall. MP love it, but I hit a brick wall in my employed position. And I just eventually relocated to Florida because I did become a little restless. And I was like, what else is out there? I've only lived the same place for the last 30 something years of my life. What else is out there? So fast forward to 2016, we relocate to Florida. Some people know immediately about two weeks after arriving to Florida, I was fired from my job that I relocated here for. I only relocated to Tampa because I had a job here. I was fired because they felt that I was still too new of a new grad MP. So one medical director hired me knowing my experience and gave me six months to relocate. By the time I relocated, there was a new medical director. So he didn't like my experience and he fired me. Devastating. But again, all frustration, all blood, sweat, and tears, they all are leading you to something. And that was definitely the case for me. I became very uncomfortable. I um, just became very much unsatisfied, um, even with the, this degree, that degree. And I even went back for the DMP, another degree. And again, personal achievement, personal goal. I would never tell you not to do it, but do you need to have it to be a business owner, to be a nurse entrepreneur? No, but I will say that it grew me even more as a nurse leader and it really gave me the confidence to and the push to go ahead because I knew I was never going to be really, um, what do we want to call Valued, that's the word I'm looking for. I knew that I really wasn't going to be truly valued in the employed role and my dmp was definitely not going to be valued so there was that discomfort and that and some more tears i had a job uh, where i cried every single day okay cried every single day but i knew that it was time through and because of that discomfort to do the most scary thing that i've ever done and that was to branch out and start a business terrifying i started completely from scratch not one client not even sure how to get clients now the thing is yes i had mentors and were they perfect no but i had mentors and i took every single thing that i could from them and that that I could implement and I did that. And there's still some things that I still need to implement, I will admit. But with that said, mentorship is important. Community is important. And that is exactly the reason that the Concierge Nurse Network was born. So with all that said, let me get to it because I don't like to make these, I wanna keep most of these videos like this pretty, you know, short and sweet. So let me tell you the P's of how I, determined my niche my my experience definitely played into that in my background so the first one was just pay attention pay attention pay attention to the needs of your community pay attention to gaps in care so even as you're going along doing your job working pay attention to what you see frequently pay attention to the problems that keep coming up pay attention to things where there's a solution needed but no one has one the so being able to solve a problem problems is the next p being able to solve a problem equals a impact which equals profit and revenue right so initially we're not thinking just money and just profit we're thinking do we have a solution for a problem what is the gap in care what are we seeing frequently and take it from there so pay attention pay attention to the problems i'm outside so cars are driving by but i love sitting out on the porch my favorite thing my favorite thing to do ever my neighbors always see me sitting right here so anyway pay attention pay attention to the problems in your community and really start to think and brainstorm on how you can combine your nursing skill and expertise 
to in order to solve that problem okay the next p in this formula for determining what you should do as far as your concierge nursing niche the next p is personal insight so brainstorm brain dump have a notebook write down your ideas really really write this and think this out but personal insight really be honest with yourself about what you enjoy what you're passionate about so i have seen and i myself have been guilty of being um chasing the next big thing and i quickly realized that it brought me no per it didn't make me feel fulfilled i didn't feel that i was truly operating in my purpose and it didn't light me up like i didn't enjoy it so there has been a couple of classes that i've taken and thought i was going to implement these services and realized that that just wasn't my thing okay so be honest with yourself that is the best advice that i can give on this and from my own personal experience of kind of going for things that were i know what it's called it's called shiny object object syndrome just chasing the next new and shiny thing so don't do that be honest with yourself about what you enjoy the types of clients you want to work with the problems that you enjoy researching and looking for those solutions so that you can solve them and provide a service be honest with yourself so personal insight is the next p and then of course the last p is purpose we all have a purpose we all have a gift and that is why you can't worry about competition or saturation because no matter what you are the missing ingredient you are the secret ingredient to the recipe when you are walking and operating in your purpose so be very honest about that and really pay attention to what you feel pulled to what you feel called to do and what you're good at your zone of genius that's a new terminology that i learned and i really learned that it is important to be honest with yourself about it and operate in it and then if it's not your zone of genius or maybe that's something that still needs to be done in your business that's when it's time for you to hire out to someone else who does have that zone of genius so just to sum them up so pay attention look for the problems be honest with yourself via personal insight and purpose really pay attention to purpose and what really fulfills you once you merge all of those together that is how you would be able to find your concierge nursing niche so um just to sum it up a few ways to work with me uh, one i love to give back to nurses via the concierge nurse network facebook group this youtube channel and then also Instagram, the Concierge Nurse Network, so we can connect on any of those platforms, whichever you prefer. Oh, and let's not forget TikTok. And also, again, check, um, look for the link that's in this description. I will include the link that allows you to connect with me, schedule a call, explore, you know, ask me a few questions, whatever the case may be. But I always love doing intro calls and learning what the struggles are or what the barriers may be for nurses as they venture into entrepreneurship so look out for that and then and or catch me at a live event post-op recovery boot camp is here in tampa september 23rd and 4th i also have a virtual version coming up um at the end of august but all that information you will be able to find it via following the link in my description okay so thank you for tuning in we're going to keep this under 15 minutes and i will see you for the next round of concierge nurse life